Hey going guys, today I'm going to talk about what RPGs should be on the 3DS and there's already a few announced, some plans, um, probably a few tech demos that fans have mistaken for actual titles they're going to make but um, first off Square Enix has pretty much said they want to bring all three of their major franchises to the 3DS which is Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest and Kingdom Hearts. Uh, it, there's been some screenshots of Kingdom Hearts and it's based off Kingdom Hearts 1 and it looks really nice, it runs really well on the 3DS. Um, Final Fantasy, I definitely say that there's going to be a Crystal Chronicles, that's a definite in my in my mind. Um, a lot of fans want 5 and 6 to be remade like 3 and 4 was. Um, I don't really see 6 being remade, I don't think as powerful as the 3DS sounds, I don't know if it's capable of making a true 3D adaptation of Final Fantasy 6. I think they can do it for 5, definitely, and I think of all the Final Fantasy games, 5's the number one game that needs to be remade, um, most definitely. It's not the worst Final Fantasy game, but it's certainly not the best. It's smack dab in, the, in between. Um, I mean, they got the battle system right, and they got the job system right, it was absolutely perfect, but the story was very bland, and the characters, um, Sometimes they showed a bit of character, but they were kind of really, really bland. So I hope that they kind of take the story and fine-tune it. Uh, as for Dragon Quest, uh, I, I can't really think of what they can do on the 3DS, but a lot of people saying that, you know, Dragon Quest X could happen on there, even though they've announced it for the Wii. Uh, I wouldn't hold it against Square if they decide to jump ship to the 3DS, because Dragon Quest IX was one of the biggest selling games in all time in Japan and that was due to the DS, the popularity of the DS so we'll never know, we might see a Dragon Quest game on the 3DS and definitely. Um, Atlas has pretty much said that they want to make Shin Megami Tensei games for the 3DS uh, and they've also said they want to make an Etrian Odyssey game on the 3DS and I can f fully see that being realized on the 3DS if they give battle animations to the monsters I like if they punch you the 3D imaging will have the fist come out of the screen I reckon it'll look fantastic Nintendo has pretty much said they want to bring a Paper Mario to the 3DS that doesn't really interest me but the other RPG they are bringing out and um, it has me very excited because it was my favorite game on the Nintendo 64 is this. they're going to port Zelda Ocarina of Time in 3D and from what I've seen in the screenshots it looks absolutely phenomenal and that's a day one purchase for me as soon as it comes out. So those are the games that they've pretty much announced they want to make. Uh, the uh, There's one more actually um, and this actually besides Ocarina of Time is the number one game that has me excited and it's created by level 5 and it's a game that's been in development for a while and it's called Time Travelers. Now I actually got to see a trailer a couple of weeks ago and it looks absolutely stunning. Um, very creepy but stunning. It, I really hope that, you know, from what they saw the trailer, um, the game looks to be a hit. But the thing is, is they haven't fully announced if it's an RPG or not. A lot of people say it is, but Level 5 themselves haven't said it, so it's either going to be an adventure game or an RPG and if it's an RPG I would like it to be an action RPG uh, I really like the characters um, I really like the character Skeleton his artwork is amazing he's insanely creepy but at the same time he just draws you in so both Time Travelers and Zelda Ocarina of Time are the two biggest titles I'm looking forward to on the 3DS now as for games that I would really like to see on the 3DS well um, the the thing about the 3DS that has me the most excited is not the 3D aspect. It's the fact that this game generates graphics, um, visuals that are like a GameCube. And I was a big fan of my GameCube back in the day. I wasn't a big fan of Nintendo 64 because there weren't many games that were playable to me. The only big two games were Zelda, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Um, when I got my GameCube out, there were tons of games I played on it. I played it more than my PS2 at one stage. So I looked through my GameCube collection, and I'm wondering which GameCube game would be fantastic to port to a handheld device. 
and I've actually picked one game out. Now this game had an original version on the Dreamcast and had a second version on the GameCube and a lot of people will probably already know what I'm talking about. Um, this is an amazing RPG, one of my favourite games on the GameCube and that game is Skies of Arcadia. I fully can see this being done on a handheld and it'd be fantastic. It'd be one of those games you'd buy and play for months. So I hope Sega would take this idea in consideration because I reckon it'd be an absolute hit. So I'll go through the companies I reckon that would make games. Um, Sega, honestly, I reckon should make a Skies of Acadia. Um, I wouldn't hold against them if they're going to make another Fantasy Star game. Um, their last couple of Fantasy Star portable titles haven't been that crash hot. Um, especially Fantasy Star Zero, which I really don't like the story of. Uh, as for other games, well, Valkyria Chronicles, I dare say, is going to be sticking with the Sony devices. Uh, as for Shining Force, um, I don't know. Hopefully, they really will get in touch with the old games and re-release the games, but I wouldn't mind seeing a Shining Force game in 3D. That would be fantastic. As for Konami, uh, a lot of fans don't want another Suicune Tier Christ game. Uh, honestly, I, I enjoyed it for all its merits. I, um, I stopped comparing it to the other Suicune games. They really want to do another Suicune game ba based on the Affinity. I dare say they could do some wonderful things with the 3DS, so um, I'm all for it. Uh, as for Castlevania, if, if Iga still is allowed to make 2D Castlevania games, I'd like them to make a 2D Castlevania game, but it has some 3D elements, like stuff coming out of the screen and everything um, but I wouldn't want it to be in 3D um, the other games I would say is not really a whole lot but as I could say Square Enix definitely can do a couple of Final Fantasy games but um, I would like to see either the PSP or the 3DS have another go at bringing out Chrono Cross because that's that's a great game that I'd really like to see remade. Um, they did a wonderful job with the Chrono Trigger remade on the DS, so they could probably have another go at that. As for the Mana series, uh, which is kind of before dead in the water in the last couple of titles, hopefully they get back in tune what made this series great, and they should never have another crack at the series on the 3DS. Um, the other thing, game, I reckon would be Oh, I wouldn't say this would be a definite idea that someone should um, attempt, but Falcom being as they are, they have like an obligation, it seems, to release Eastbook 1 and 2 on nearly any platform they can get their hands on, at least one platform every generation. And I'm just looking at Eastbook 1 and 2 Chronicles, and it was a funny idea I had that they should port that to the 3DS and it'd be exactly the same game, except it would have some 3D imagery, like one of the bosses in East 2 jumps up and down onto the screen. And I thought on the 3DS, you know, as he jumped up, it would look like he's coming out of the screen. So um, I don't think that's going to happen, but I wouldn't run it past Falcom to attempt to port it on there. <laughs> um, as for other games, there's not really much else. Those, those are the ideas I have. There's only one more game that I would really consider that I definitely desire for the 3DS. It's one of Nintendo's biggest franchises and that game of course is Fire Emblem. And with the GameCube-like graphics, the first thing that comes into my mind is Path of Radiance. I'd be able to do a game that looks like Path of Radiance. Now whether Nintendo wants to, and Intelligent Systems wants to completely make a completely new storyline in a completely new Fire Emblem world um, is good with me, or they can finally have an attempt, um, because they've cu currently just finished remaking the Marth Tales, I'm wondering if they're going to have a go at finally trying to remake the Genealogy of War and Fratica 776. Um, because I'd love to see those games get an English release, because they are quite brilliant games. They're hard um, but brilliant. They're very they're more dramatic. The stories in those games are far dramatic than the other Fire Emblem games to date. So I hope that more people get to experience it. And I dare say it'd probably look absolutely phenomenal on the 3DS. So 
I can definitely see the combat scenes where you go to attack an enemy um, really, really stand out in 3D. So hopefully it's an idea that Nintendo considers. Okay, guys. I would very much like to hear what number one RPG you would like to see on the 3DS. This can either be uh, a new installment in a series you like, this can be a game that exists you would like to see port to the 3DS in 3D or if you've got an idea for a completely new idea for a RPG that would work well in 3D um, post in the comments down below I'm really interested to hear what you have to say um, stay tuned I've got some more videos that I want to record today so till then thanks for watching